but we've won all seven of our games here. Dirty flag. Well, it's never dirty when I do it. It's only dirty when people flag me. In that case, it's absolute BS and not real chess. When I do it, it's just, you know, it's part of the game. <laughs> no, but you're right. It was completely dirty. Uh, number one in the arena. Let's play Walrus Gambit. Walrus Gambit on the board. Gambit glasses on. Ooh, E4. Okay. So that means we can transpose to a Stafford or a Bush Gas Gambit. C3. Okay, this is the line. Page 4. Boom and boom. Queen E2! This is a blunder. GG. GG. Queen E2. The queen had to go to F3. Now there was no way for the queen to move and also not get mated in this position. So G3 was forced. Wait, actually, why is this a blunder again? I know it was a blunder. Take, take. They seem fine. All right, let's step back. Queen still hit. But the queen has squares. But this seems not good for them. Here? She be two. Ooh, nasty. Did I choose the wrong square? Because I can't take because of this. Should I play? Well, what if I play? Mm, maybe I should have done this earlier. B5, queen d3, rook d8. But this is hanging. What do we got here? B5, queen d3. All right, they have no threat. They have no threat. I mean, I guess they want to play like d4 or something, right? But, all right, they want to play d4. How can I incentivize d4? Now let's play knight f6. I'm looking at this now. My queen is guarding a couple things. If they take the bishop, then I have a temple on the rook. So they do this. I was planning on really, like, not guarding that, to tell you the truth. Like, really just castles. All right, yeah, let's play an e4. Let's go for it. Take my bishop. And I didn't want queen c5. That seemed more annoying. But pawn takes truly in the spirit of these Stafford-esque lines. GG. Already commenting GG as soon as the gambit glasses go on. Queen f5 seems interesting to me. Castles. Let's go castles. Let's get our rooks here and here. And let's just toast them with the rooks. Like, this king is just... Let's just take... Oh, did, wait. Can they take this knight? No, they can't take it. Wait. No. They can't. Because then rook e8. And then this file just torches them. Absolutely torches them. Because queen takes f3. Their file with the pin on the bishop. So queen e4. Here. He has some confusing stuff on the light squares. But basically this has been stopping me from taking the rook. But once I control the e-file, this is all mine. So they should clog the e-file, perhaps, with bishop e3. What would I do there? I want to make this queen move. I want to... b5 would win if there was no off song, basically. But bishop e3, I would play queen f5. So that would attack the rook, because there's nothing hanging here. Oh, hi, Zippy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm playing absolutely insane this game. I just came and let them take my bishop. But I hope it works out. GG. Oh, they actually took me. Oh, and castle. Okay, wait. Take, take, check, rook f1. They're fine. If I play rook d1... Oh, that's... Oh, that's gorgeous. Take, I would go take, king h1, back. Yeah, that's... They missed it. Check first. This is a draw, if I could just keep repeating. But I take the rook now. Actually, that wasn't as good as I thought. It worked, but it wasn't as good as I thought. Oh, wait, I should have just gone rook d8 there. I should have just gone rook d8. I could do it now, but it's one move too slow. We got i have two pawn no i only have one pawn i have one pawn for the piece that i'm still down hmm all right 
We're gonna make this work. I, I think that was a bad move. I think they need to continue developing. Because maybe now... No, they're fine. This is nice. If you take it, then check and mate. Is that... That better be mate. Yeah, that, that is mate. Bishop g1. And then... Yorkie 2 for the win. 2. Wow. Gambit Glass's power is there. Rookie 2, I found that very quickly. In a completely... Yeah, yeah. It was looking like... Like, if they had one more move there, Rookie 1, I could just resign. But... Rookie 2... So if they move the knight... They just play h4. If I take this, what happens? Alright, let's just do it. Take... Here... I want to get there now, right? I hit g3. Oh wait, I can't lose my rook. I can't lose my rook, okay. Oh, it's just going to be a blitz out, okay. Oh, not good. Bam. Alright, I flagged them, but yeah, in the blitz out, so we drew. In the blitz out, yeah, I let them just take my rook by literally just going here where their rook is also hanging. Didn't really see it. Okay, we can do an analysis of this game. So this was a walrus accepted. And they play e4, so it's a bush gas, actually, because this is the bush gas gambit. And this position, right? And we had that on the board with e4, bishop, c5. We have the same position. So it's kind of interesting. c3 is a line, but queen h4, queen f3 is the move. This is what Mittens played against me, actually. Uh, but queen e2, I think, is just a blunder. And yeah, you can see it be a blunder. So bishop g4, basically the issue is any square the queen goes to, that's actually checkmate. Um, whereas with queen f3, they could just go queen g3. So queen f3, we play um, um, queen h6, actually, to stop the pawn from moving to d4. Because the bishop's hanging on c1. Uh, queen e2, so we play bishop g4, there's no f3, because the queen pins here. So g3, and I just step back, which is correct. It's all correct until here, where the eval shifts from minus 4.4 .4 to plus 1.9. So I had to include b5 first. I was, yeah, this is what I was thinking. So you chase the queen away from control of e2. And I think now bishop f3 is, is killer. Even this move, what a nasty, absolutely nasty move. Bishop d1 hits the queen. The queen is trapped because they have to take it and then check, bringing the queen back to her starting square. That's actually crazy. So you give both bishops, but... Also very good is bishop to f3 in this position, um, hitting the rook, and then this queen to two. So the rook's actually trapped. There's no bishop e2. My opponent found this resource, bishop e2, and everything changes. So they're still up the pawn. If they play d4, then then they're solid. So this is actually just plus 2.3, apparently. I went completely ballistic and let the bishop fall. Although this was a blunder. Queen d3 had to be played. Queen d3, so hitting my bishop... Can't take because I lose the queen. If I take here, this is check. And then I have bishops hanging still. So, take c5. Wow. Rook z1 was a blunder. h5 was apparently winning. I just go h4. And then this file just opens. Very interesting. So, so I'm down a piece. And I'm just playing h5, h4. It seems kind of slow. But there's nothing they can do. They have no, like, knight d2 or anything. They control no squares. Um, so I go rook d1. This, it's telling me just take the draw. And I didn't. We ended up drawing this anyway, but in a very roundabout way. Rook e2, I think chess.com would have given me an exclam for that. If you take my rook, this would be mate. I think that's pretty nice. But it doesn't necessarily have an effect and queen f4 is a great move that forces the queens off the board if i dodge i lose the rook and so here at this point we're just in a blitz out anyway but they did a good job um and then, yeah they play rook h2 which is a good move in the blitz out all right 
All right, I am happy to take challenges now. I know I said that I would be 